Hi everyone, welcome back to Spark Plugins YouTube channel. Today I have a very exciting demo and it's how to add a before and after image slider to your Squarespace website. And the best part is it takes three easy steps. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is upload the images that we want to use for our before and after slider onto our Squarespace website. So currently I am on our demo site. I'm just going to click on edit and then I'm going to scroll down and for this demo, I'm just gonna add a section right over here for no particular reason. And then what we're going to do next is click on add block and then you can click on image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload from my computer. So I'm gonna select file and then I have these two images right here. I actually already uploaded these to my Squarespace and they're already in the album, but I just wanna show you how to do it just in case if you didn't know. And then I am going to remove this image because I don't actually need it to be on here. Now we need to grab the URL from our images. And one of the ways we can do that is using Beyond Space copy URL features. So I uploaded Beyond Space copy URL feature to my Squarespace site. I just had to insert a little bit of code and then I get this little panel with ground control after. I have this panel, I can switch on assets library enhanced, and this will allow me to copy the image URL from my Squarespace asset library. Without this plugin, I wouldn't be able to do that. I would have access to all of these, um, but I would not be able to copy the image URL. I might have been able to copy the image URL to add it to my website and then right clicking it and seeing if I could copy the image URL, but I just wanted to show you how you could use this little plugin in a sense um, because it's very easy and it's free. And now I can just click the three little dots and copy the image URL. So I have the before and the after that we uploaded um, and it's very easy. I could just have it in this asset library for all of my other images too. So it's all in one spot, but let's go back to our website. And what we're gonna actually need to do before we add anything to this block is I'm going to save this and press exit. And we are going to go to pages and then scroll down to, oops, not that one, to website tools and then custom CSS. I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to paste this code right over here. I'll have it on the screen and it's basically giving us the functionality for that before and after slider to work. And then we're gonna make sure to click save. And then we're gonna go back into edit. And I'm gonna scroll down to that empty section and I'm going to select add block and then code. I'm going to move this over over here so it doesn't block anything. We're gonna click on the pencil and then I'm going to delete this code and paste the code right in here that is going to allow us to make the before and after slider show up. Now we need to replace let me make this bigger so we could see better. We need to replace the CRC before URL and after URL with that URL I was talking about. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm going to grab the before image URL and I am going to add it in here. Okay, that's a long one. And then I'm gonna go back in here and make sure I copy the after image URL. and paste that in here. Okay, I'm gonna close this. And as you can see, we have a little preview. Um, it's gonna look a bit crazy because of the safe preview, but it should look fine once we save it. I'm just gonna leave it in the center like that and see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit save and then exit. And there you go, we have our image URL. Now let's try to make that bigger because that is a very small. We definitely want it to be much bigger than that. Okay, there, now it's showing up properly. The safe mode is always so confusing, so it's actually a good example. It's actually good that we're able to show how this would look. Okay, I'm gonna press save again. Exit it, full screen. And there you go, you have a before and after image slider. And that's it, now you know how to add a before and after image slider to your Squarespace website. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Squarespace tips and tricks. I'll see you next time.